the Beatles from the beginning to the end. It's their solo careers. It's their humor. It's their incredible music. It's the British invasion. It's their American adversaries. It's an historical musical education. It's the Beatles and a whole lot more. A Beatles fan's paradise. It's Beatlesarama.com. Tune in. You'll love it. Beatlesarama TV is on the air. Supposed to see me there in between those two bits. That's okay. We're learning. We're learning on the fly. How are you? I'm Pat Matthews, and um, <clears throat> we have a good show today lined up. In fact, it's uh, Warren Brown from the Beatles Kingdom is going to be with us in just a couple of minutes, but he's taking care of business right now. So um, uh, I'm going to tell a little story. I'm uh, moving from Southern California. <laughs> Um, back to, uh, basically my hometown. I'm originally from New Orleans, but, uh, we're going to be living in, uh, Covington, Louisiana, which is north of the lake. They call it the North shore. It's not really close to the shore, but it's, uh, you know, it's a good seven or eight miles away from the shore, but in the process of moving, it's a lot of work for my wife and I, we, uh, packing um trying to sell things that will not fit on the truck like a bed like a bedroom set uh, you might be hearing my phone go off every once in a while and that's because you know all these people are so excited to buy my stuff well that's not really true um it's got it gone kind of slow we sold a couple of items but um not everything we still have five more to go and uh hopefully that won't take very long because I uh, don't have any room on the truck for it. But today was uh, particularly um, interesting. I had someone say, right after I posted the bedroom set, some guy says, I love your bedroom set. I want to buy it from my father for his 60th birthday. And I was like, well, this, this is cool. So he says, can you send the pictures to my father's email address so he can look at them? So I did that. And then I get an answer back from the so-called father who said, uh, I love it. I must have it. I'm going to send a moving truck. Now, I didn't actually get it right away. And I remembered about three or four years ago when I was trying to sell something, somebody tried to pull this scam on me before, but I didn't catch it right away. By the time I caught it, unfortunately, I had given the guy my address and my cell phone number. And um, anyway, long story short, it was a scam. It was, and the way they do it is they say that they make the check out to the moving company and the moving company guy is supposed to pay me out of that check. And I'm like, wait a second. So time out, not gonna happen. We can't do that. Move on to the next sucker, okay? So. That was uh, my excitement for the day. Um, and the bedroom st set is still here. In fact, I think you can see the, uh, the, the headboard back there in the, in the background. So if you want to buy it, message me on this show, okay? Warren, you, would you like it? Uh, yes, I would. <laughs> how much? How much? Oh, 600 bucks for like uh, oh, seven wow. pieces. Wow, that's not bad. Yeah. So uh, cherry, uh, cherry wood. Uh, nice, nice. You know, I, mean, I, think gonna be a, I think it's going to be a tough sell because it's like what's called a sleigh bed. And I don't think uh, too many people do that anymore. Right. You know, it's been out of styles and for about 10 years, I guess. Right. But we'll see. It's well, a great cherry, cherry wood's good. Huh? Cherry wood's good. Yeah, I know. Maybe they could use it for firewood in the fireplace or something. Yeah. So that's expensive firewood. So Warren. Yes, sir. From the Beatles Kingdom. Yes, sir. You uh, you uh, doing all right with that, right? I'm doing great with it, yes. I, I love the Beatles Kingdom group. If you want to go uh, on Facebook, 
uh, just search the Beatles Kingdom and I'm sure you'll find it. But uh, yeah, I got some great people in there. Some great admins, some friends. Now, I think we have shared this show with uh, like 300 other pages or something at this point, right? I, sh I shared it everywhere, yes. <laughs> And hopefully people out there are watching. Hello, hello. hello. Hey, everybody, <laughs> tune in right now. You know, you're not going to get this kind of entertainment in too many places. <laughs> uh, so, so um, wait, wait a minute, Pat. I just seen the sh that your shirt. I see the top of it. What oh, uh, wow. what you wearing there? Hey, hey. That kind of rocks, baby. All right. Yeah, Albert Einstein, see him right there. Yeah, there you go. That's a nice shirt. Where'd you get it? I got that from Warren Brown's store. Uh, Beatles Kingdom see. store. <laughs> there you go. And, and you that's on it. eBay. But right now the store is closed because I had a couple problems with it. And I'm figuring out how eBay works. So um, and right now it's closed. But uh, mm. if you want to message me on Facebook and ask me for a T-shirt, I guess. Well, all right. Let me see your T-shirt. Okay. There you go. This is a special T-shirt. Uh, let's see. Oh, this way. There you go. Shine oh, on. Huh? Is this a little Jude Sutherland Kessler kind of action going on here? Ah, uh, that's who it is. Yes. Uh, I believe her husband Rand did this. Yeah. Uh, Randy. Uh, Rand. Or a brand, right? Um, yeah, he sent that to me. Um, I love this shirt. Uh, this is only my second time wearing it, but uh, did you wash it after the first time? Or uh... I, of course, <laughs> yeah, this is the worst shirt. <laughs> you can see the wrinkles in it, it came out of the <laughs> dryer, oh, <right>. but <laughs> but yes, Jude, uh, Jude's a very sweet woman. And one of the best uh, Beatles researchers, John Lennon, to be exact, oh, of course. Uh, out there. And uh, and she was on my previous show, and uh, we, got to be, we got she to be pretty good friends. And her husband sent me this, so I appreciate that, and I thank you very much. And she used to do a uh, one-hour weekly show uh the john lennon hour on beatlesarama.com and uh, there you go and then uh i guess it, it got to be too much um right. you know especially with all these these nine thousand page books he writes you know i mean uh it takes a lot of time right you know mm. being a world traveler you know you know how it is warren uh, all right <laughs> <laughs> so uh what got you started with the beatles ah <sighs> I just, of course, um, the Ed Sullivan show, <laughs> uh, which many of us got yes. acquainted with the Beatles. Every, I don't, just about everybody, <clears throat> you know, who grew up around that time. I'm, how old were you, Warren, when you saw it? Went very young, and people ask me, yeah. "How can I remember something like that?" Uh, being so young, I think I was three years old. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, people ask me how how I could remember something like that, that young, but uh, that's, that's not the only thing I remember. I remember JFK. Uh -huh. I remember the whole funeral type thing, um, you know, with, yeah. uh, I mean, that was an all day thing. I think I sat in my mother's lap and watched that all day long. So. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I remember that. I remember landing on the moon. Yeah. Well, you were, yeah. Well, you know, you were like in the third grade by that time, and which is, uh, which, which is good. Yeah, but yeah, I remember all that. I, I don't know why. I just, just something that's uh, caught my attention, I guess. Now, let me ask you this. Is this the same mother who dated uh, Babe Ruth? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> My mother used to date the, uh, the babe. Uh, he's actually from Maryland. Right. And he, and he played in Baltimore before he went to New York. That's right. And, uh, yeah, I, it was a minor, minor league team, right? Right. <clears throat> she went out with Babe Ruth and, and someone else. Uh, 
that went to the Yankees too. I can't remember who it was. Yogi Berra. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Warren, uh, wait, wait, no, wait, the other guy named Warren? No, no let's see. Moose Scour. I never heard of him. Oh, you see, well, he was the first baseman for the Yankees in the early 60s. Okay. I Peter, never heard Peter Klimasovsky uh, likes our uh, what we're doing here so far, which is nice. Right. And um, I hope everybody likes it. Okay. <laughs> so let, let's let's be controversial. As you, as you can see, I'm an Oriole fan. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, that's right. And, and I, actually, the uh, minor league team was the Orioles, I believe. Right. Right. <laughs> yep. Now George Harrison wrote a song called Baltimore Oriole. You knew that, right? Right. <laughs> okay. We play that on Beatles Arama. Oh, we cool. do. <laughs> Baltimore Oriole. Best radio station out there. That's and right. it's free. <laughs> That's right. Beatlesarama.com. Go there and listen, and you'll be hooked. You right. can listen while you stream on Facebook and everything else. So That's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You got a phone app, too, don't you? I do. In fact, we need to up we need to update the um, the uh, iPhone app. So what's happening right now is that people will uh, turn it on, and it'll play for like fifteen seconds and crash, which is not a good thing. Right. Okay. So I right. just was made aware aware of that in the last week or so. So we've been reaching out to the people, uh, Nobex, who uh, who actually uh, created it for us, to see if they say, hey. Uh, how much are you going to charge me to update it? <laughs> so we have uh, my good oh. friend, Greg Cavanaugh, uh, who uh, does weekends for us here in Beagles Arama. He is currently working on that situation. So, you know, there's always something going on. You know? Yes, there is. Always. As a matter of fact, there's a contest going on, too, isn't there? That's right. Now, I want you to explain this contest because people... <laughs> Uh, it, it has to do with the station, and it has to do with the uh, YouTube channel. Right. And Warren, it's his brilliant idea, and uh, I, I, I said, let's go with it. So what is it? Well, I'm talking about YouTube uh, first. Um, we're trying to get you 1,000 subscribers. and uh, Before uh, Valentine's Day. No. Uh, right. You have, to, you have to do it one year. Yes. Well, uh, see, you I, don't... I have until I have until uh, October, I believe. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, what well, the contest is, you come to Beatles Rama TV on YouTube, and you hit the subscribe button, and you will be el eligible to win some prizes. And we're going to show you those prizes right now, right, Warren? All right. We'll show, we'll show the first one, okay? Okay. There you go. It's a it's a little blurry on the screen there, but that's a hoodie. Um, if you've seen Pat's shirt, it's the replica of his shirt. It's only on a black hoodie. It's very nice. That's one prize you could win. There is prize number two. Uh, that's the T-shirt that Pat is wearing that he showed you earlier so you could win the hoodie you could win the t-shirt revolver shoes so you got, you got a chance to win uh three great prizes uh the contest will go on until uh we reach 1000 subscribers on uh beatles arama tv youtube channel and I was going to say, the, the people who are already already subscribed, are they eligible? Uh, yes. Um, anybody, sure, every, you reach, when you reach a way. thousand, every, everybody below that is, is eligible, yes. All right. So you don't want to be the 1,001th. Right. <laughs> but we'll pay, we'll, we'll uh, take your membership, though. And, right. Right. Uh, We'll pick three names randomly, right? And uh, you could uh, 
you can win some nice prizes just for hitting a sub subscribe button. And if the 1,000th person wins, they get this. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Our little COVID thing. <laughs> That's Man. right. Our, Our contribution to the COVID pandemic. There you go. Thank you very much. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to have one myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't have one. Yeah. Oh, we got to we got to get one. <laughs> That's right. Let's get some. Right. Um, you know, because I want to put that one over the uh, surgical mask because here in California they're saying you should wear two masks at one time. They, That's, I think it, it's what they want want you to suffocate so you yeah. don't uh, you don't get the COVID. You just die of natural causes. You know, okay. in my opinion, is why do two masks? Why, why not three, four, five masks? That's right. You know? yeah. But my thing is, why don't they just make one mask that's effective and, you know, put that out there instead of wearing two, the, three, the, four. The KN95. I got one. I got one of those. That's the kind of the doctor wears. And you right. know what else? You can put it on your head and it doubles as a dunce cap. Wow. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> My wife got me one of them uh, like gas mask looking things with the two filters here, and that thing was that thing was big. I was like, I can't wear that. You can't wear that in public. No, I should have. I should have, I should have bought my KN95 mask just to uh, demonstrate how you can wear it as a dunce cap. Yeah, there you go. Now you see, people are going to think that we don't take this this pandemic seriously, but we do. Yes, you know. Um, well, I did, we, I, hey, I read before we came on today that mm -hmm. uh, the numbers in Los Angeles County continue to drop. Right. They they are here, too. I think the my opinion is that maybe the vac vaccine is, is working a, a little to our favor. I, I You know, I don't know. I'm still waiting to get mine. How about you? I got mine uh, a week ago Thursday. I got the first one. There and then go. I got my little paper here. Wait, I'll show it to you. I don't know if you can see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, look. And it says uh, my uh, Moderna follow-up is going to be on uh, right. the 18th of... Uh, wait a minute. That had my birthday and everything on there. <laughs> well, you just gave it to the world. <laughs> That's all right. You know what? I mean, now, I, now we know how old you are. But... I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Right. I'm going to be 69 in uh, June. Yeah. Mm. Let that reverberate a few minutes. <laughs> That's not bad. That's still, yeah, that's still yeah. young. You're still in your diapers. Well, don't say that. <laughs> Yeah. Don't that's, say that. that's our that's next that's step. You, know, you don't know how close to the truth you are there. You know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> By the way, since we're talking about the contest and trying to get a thousand subscribers really fast, mm -hmm. uh, we hope people go there right now and hit the subscribe button. That would be great. And that would be great. I know how many we had before we went on. And so right. uh, we'll be reporting back to you and scolding you if necessary. <laughs> but what I. We're we're, we're we're trying to make money from YouTube, which leads us right into what I was about to say, Warren. All right, I'm be controversial and say, unless we show pictures of kittens licking each other, and dogs eating and chasing their own tail, <laughs> we're not going to make any money on YouTube. Right. No, you're not. I'm sorry to say, no, you're not. Unless you're going to put out three or four shows a day. And uh, it's got to be worthless nonsense, you know. Right. <laughs> well, that's what this is. Cause, so we could do this three or four times a day. Right. Really. You know, anything out there that's, you know, entertainment, um, podcast, they're, they're not going to make no money. Uh, in order to make money off of YouTube, you got to put together how-to videos. Uh, you know, everybody that I know of everywhere searches you, uh, YouTube for how-to videos, how to put mm -hmm. together, yeah, sure. you know, how to take apart things, how to put, how to cook, how, you know, stuff like that. 
um, they will make you money. If you can put out a bunch of how-to videos, uh, you get many hits all the time from the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can make money that way. Um, if you do not work and you stay at home all day and you have a little kitty cat and it likes to eat and play and stuff like that. If you set up a camera and film your cat all day doing its normal thing, you can make money on YouTube. <laughs> But, <laughs> yes, if you have a good information show, like you're giving out uh, truthful information, news, stuff like that, you can make a little bit of money. Podcasting, and sorry to say there, Pat, we will never make a dime. <laughs> you know, but you people out there, you could change all this. Because pretty soon Warren's going to be crying on camera and that's not going to be pretty. That's not going to stop us from trying, Pat. <laughs> you know. In, in fact, I want, we want to give a shout out to Marie Bonfiglio, who uh, has liked our, our little get together here, along with the uh, uh, Peter uh, Klimasovsky. There you go. So that's why they pay me the big bucks, because I can pronounce these people's names. I just yeah. wanted to tell you. <laughs> I wanted to say when you I'm said glad that's you, your part and not mine because when you said something about how to videos and taking things apart and putting them back together, right? You, you jogged the memory of mine. Now, I'm not saying this to brag or anything, but uh -huh. I, I come to realize that I've done so many voiceovers in my career that I've forgotten like 80% of them. Okay. Right. Now, I used to be the voice of Harley Davidson taking the Harley Davidson engines apart and putting them back together. <laughs> now, I had no idea what I was talking about. That's the best part. Right. But I sounded like I did. <laughs> that's all it matters. That's right. So that's well, why they, yeah, they wrote me a check. So it was great. If you could do stuff like that all day long and post it on YouTube, you can make some money off of that. You know, there's musicians out there that make up money off of YouTube, of oh, course, sure. you know. Um, Lawrence Juber, for one, mm -hmm. uh, he goes on uh, live on Facebook and all and streams live all the time. And he makes sure he puts himself out there. I mean, his music is off the charts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just Rick uh, Bedrosian does. Right. And exactly. And uh, I don't know if if I ever seen a tip jar or anything for Lawrence. I'm not sure I have, but he puts out enough content out there. And of course, mm -hmm. he's got many followers who watch his stuff all the time from beginning to end, because uh, the length of time you watch uh, oh, you, a you YouTube there, show. Man. The no, length of turn the television. <laughs> okay. But the length of time you watch a show matters on getting paid too because yeah. you're you, you got advertisements that's floating everywhere. But you know um, what, Warren? You know, I noticed that uh on our analytics mm -hmm. for Rama TV that the uh time spent watching has increased like by twice as much. Right. Well, that's good. That means you got more people uh, watching for longer, so they're interested in what you got to say. Now, these of course, people, are, these of people course, are... everybody's interested in you anyway. You you own a radio station. I mean, <laughs> you know, who yeah. wouldn't want to? <laughs> you think that would get me into Studio Fifty Four, don't you? Look, you got a great voice. You're a great broadcaster. Um, you ask good questions. Um, you deserve to go up the up the ranks there. Well, thank you. Now, You're welcome. You. Another, per another person is, uh, has liked our uh, show, Dave Hanrahan. Now, they, these must all be friends of yours. Yeah, Dave is. I don't really recognize uh, the other yeah. two, but uh, hi, Dave, and thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Let's see. Oh, Roseanne said hello. 
Ah, there you go. Hello, Rose. And Dave says, I think this is great. Wow. <laughs> Maybe we should do this again sometime. You know what I mean? Maybe. Um, yeah. You know, and, and the thing is, and I'm not making excuses, but good Lord, we, the, this move is, is, you know, that's when I really feel my age. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try shoveling, shoveling snow and ice. Hey, let's talk about that. Let's talk about salt in the driveway. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's it's been tough here. We get we got like two inches of snow, probably a half inch of ice on top of it. So, and I think we're supposed to get two to five inches tonight on top of the ice. So, of course, I was out there all day today um, trying to get the ice up. So when the snow comes back, I'm not walking on ice. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, at least I got a better chance of saving my back. <laughs> so, yeah, well, yeah I mean, we, once you fall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're barely 60, you know, you're yeah. just a youngster, you know, you got I when love it. When's your, when's your birthday? All 100, so. <laughs> when's your birthday? August. Wow, so you got it a little while ago. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with being six. 60 is the new 40, man. Uh, no, I'm, I'm still young. I, I, I think I am, but yeah. you know, I get better looking by the minute. No, <laughs> I think you've gotten better looking during this show. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you, uh, you gonna, you're gonna go to the ball yard if they let you, or what? <clears throat> say it again. You're gonna go to the ball yard if they let you to go see the Orioles play. I, uh, I hope so. <laughs> yes. Um, I I've had it. I've had it with cardboard fans. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know what you mean, and and they're expensive. You know, you pay to have your picture on them cardboards. Has anybody uh, hit you up for that or what? No, <laughs> no, I don't so want to like do buy anyway. a season ticket to have a cardboard representation of yourself. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Nah, they. I think they sell them, you know, and I don't think they're cheap. And uh, I believe the money goes to charity or something. But hey, before we go, I want to show some, uh, show off some of your artwork. Uh, all right, all right. So you describe it. I'm gonna remove myself. Okay. <laughs> well, that's uh, the COVID situation. <laughs> It's just uh, the girl sitting on the computer, the Beatles kingdom uh, picture, of course, all kinds of Beatles stuff around her. And of course, she's looking into Abbey Road Studios there. So um, uh, there you go. My favorite girls, uh, the Mona Lisa twins. This I made for you just to uh, put on your show when you did your interview with her and ma with them. And a matter of fact, you have more hits on that show than I have on any of mine. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that. Yes. All right, here's right. another one. Uh, that, that's one of my favorite John Lennon pieces uh, a work that I did. Actually, I don't know, what can I say? I put the uh, the Strawberry Fields uh, tribute there in the, in front of them. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> uh, Ringo. This is one of my favorite Ringo pictures. Now, this isn't actually my artwork except for Ringo's face, the background. Um, I found a piece of artwork off of the internet with a cowboy body. And I thought that was awesome work. And uh, Ringo would like to be a cowboy. <laughs> and timeless Len Lennon. Uh, this guy there with clock with no hands, uh, timeless, got his head bowed down, John Lennon in the background. Uh, I thought that was very good. And thank you that's very a, much. That's just a taste. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this for 
25 years. Uh, I, I started way back uh, when your very first um, computer on the market to consumers was a big, great, big, gigantic Dell machine mm -hmm. that weighed maybe 300 pounds. The, mm -hmm. The, the monitor alone weighed 150. I mean, it, it was gigantic. So um, I started looking on the internet and I seen some nice pictures and I said, hey, I'd like to do that. So, uh, so tell people where to go so they can see all of them. <clears throat> uh, you can go to Warren Brown's art page on Facebook. Um, yeah. yeah, post. I post a lot of different things. I'm a Beatles fan. And I just think if you put the Beatles on any piece of art or picture or whatever, it's going to turn out good. And every time I see a picture that I like, I just automatically think of the Beatles being on there somewhere. I mean, there's a song for everything. Um, so, you know, to keep people entertained while I do my actual graphic artwork, because graphics take a long time. Uh, it's just like a painter painting a painting or, you know, stuff like that. It, it takes a while. Mm -hmm. And in between me doing my own graphic artwork and putting something out, you know, every six months or seven months of my own, I keep people entertained by doing a lot of Photoshop and what people call Photoshop. And uh, I, I never use the actual program Photoshop in my life, mm -hmm. but I use plenty of programs that do the same thing. So to keep people entertained, I, I don't do it for money or anything else. I do it to put people's a smile on people's face, hopefully yeah, yeah. make their day, you know, make their day a little better. Be friends with Warren Brown. <laughs> so I, I do have a lot of friends that enjoy that. And you know they what? know what I do. Um, I, and he's I not making any money on it either. No, I don't. I don't sell it. Um, I, and I get a lot of requests for people to... Um, for me to make Facebook uh, covers, um, mm -hmm. I I I get a lot of requests for a lot mm -hmm. a lot of podcast people ask me to make uh, you know pictures for their podcast and you know I, I and I do it all for fun because you know I it's just a hobby I can say and uh, that's what I do. All right, man. Well, listen, this has been fun. And I think we might have to do it again since we got, uh, you know, a reasonable, good response. And that's and, great. Uh, yeah. And, and, and hopefully Roseanne is, uh, is uh, still watching and promote the uh, contest. Will you? Okay. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> you All know, right. I learned something on this podcast here, uh, yes, Pat. Sir. Next time I need a drink. <laughs> to sit here beside me because my mouth is so dry right now. <laughs> yeah, well, let me just say this, okay? Th that goes along with, uh, you know, me as well. And then the medication that I'm taking right now. Right. Because, you, know, you know, I told you about the uh, whole is sinus issue. All right. And, uh, it gives you dry mouth. And right now I'm losing my mind. And me too. <laughs> I keep wetting my lips. All well, right. you know, well, I, let me explain real quick. I know we're going a little overboard here, but um, I'm, I'm new to this um, podcasting. I mean, I, I did a podcast with a friend. Sorry about that. Um, and we did quite well. And But I, n I never was on camera before. Um, uh, he didn't want to go on camera. So... We never did any camera. I did a lot of a lot of work uh, for that podcast, and uh, I never been on camera before. And being on camera right here, I'm nervous. <laughs> you know, well, so. you know, it's Pat Matthews put you on camera because I told you a long time ago 
that it didn't make sense to be some disembodied voice. And, you know, and, you know, it's like, well, who? I wonder what he looks like. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. And by the way, Pauline Kiwiet has uh, liked us as well. So All right. we got All four right. likes today. Next time we'll get six. All right. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. And right, thanks for the conversation, Pat. All right. Thank you. All right. That's it for today. And uh, we'll try to do something else um, as long as the doctor's schedule allows. So until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pat Matthews for Beatles Arama TV. You have a great night. <laughs>